Sterling Arts and Design presents Tales from the Dragon Eye Galaxy. Previously, after Dr. Destructo completed his Omega Cannon, he immediately fired it directly at Atlar Prime and the Deity System. Dr. Bonnie Star and Blue Falcon pushed their ship to the limit to get back home and hopefully save the day. Whatever you did to the engines, we are making great time. What are you doing back there? Is this part of your plan? Yes. You see, when we were cataloging all the inventions and devices Destructo had, we examined and took each thing apart, then put it back together again. But there was one that I remember very specifically. A shield breaker. Oh, what? Ships and vessels are equipped with energy shields, and this thing would be able to crack it like a Thraxian egg. You don't want to crack Thraxian eggs. They don't like that. Okay. Okay, good to know. But you understand the idea, right? It essentially shatters the shield completely, like glass. Okay, where are you going with this? If I can reverse the polarity, I should be able to turn the breaker into an absorber. I'm working it out now. An absorber? To absorb something like an Omega Cannon Blast? Exactly. You would need some serious energy for that. Don't worry. I think we might have some back in the engineering sector. Meanwhile, on Atlar Prime, Atlar City is in chaos as its inhabitants try to evacuate with the help of Space Patrol. We're not going to get everyone to safety. Nandar and Ilsar have evacuated 20%. The rest are lower than that. We have less than 45 minutes until the blast hits us. We need to try to get everyone on those transports. Gods, if we don't make it, it was an honor serving with you. Likewise, Jones. Until the end. I wish there was more we could do. I hope Dr. Star and Blue are nowhere near this. We finish the job. Save as many as we can. Officer Smith? Officer Jones? I'm Carrie. This is Simon. We're from the engineering sector. We work with Dr. Star. What are you doing here still? You should be on a transport. We gave our seats up to a family that was being split up. There are some who were more important. I hear that. What brings you here? We were contacted and told to find you two. Here? Hello, Smith and Jones. Glad to see you guys were able to connect. Falcon, Dr. Star, I tell you to get as far away as you can from here, but I have a feeling you're coming back with a plan. I don't, but Dr. Bonnie Star does. I'll be brief. We're going to use a shield breaker to absorb the blast. I've written out schematics to change its polarity, but we need a significant amount of energy to power it. I don't know what that is. But it sounds like it could work. We need the shield breaker from the lab and something to power it up. I imagine that energy core shipment should help. We did get quite a bit this time, more than usual. I don't think it was unloaded either. We can help pilot a skiff to get everything back here as quick as possible. I need everyone to hustle. I'm transmitting the schematics so you can link everything and charge it up. Let's move. The four start on their tasks together and gather everything up. Soon after, Simon and Carrie work quickly to put it all together, immediately charging up the shield breaker. How's it going there? You need anything? I think we're almost done. Where are they? We only have ten minutes left. How are the evacuations going? Seventy-five percent. Damn it, we need more time. They made it! After this is over, I'm taking our new ship for another spin. Looks like we finished just in time. Great work, everyone. Space Patrol in the engineering sector, working together. Wish we started sooner. Hang on, are you sending this up remotely on a ship? Nope. Load this up. We're taking this thing head on. What? No, Bonnie, you can't. What if it doesn't work? It'll work. If not, it'll be a really short flight. Hey, being funny in awkward situations is my job. Bonnie, I don't know what we can say, and... Be careful. I know we give you a hard time, Blue, but it's just because we care about you and respect what you do. And you're the best damn officer in the ranks. Okay, stop right now. You two being nice is weird. Still think you're crazy, though. There you go. And Dr. Starr. Bonnie. Bonnie Marston. Bonnie, your father would be proud. Thank you. Whoa, did you feel that? 
The blast. It's getting closer. That's our cue. We have a job to do. Let's get this thingamajig on the ship. Absorber. What she said. And so, with moments to spare, Dr. Bonnie Marston and Blue Falcon fly into the atmosphere and activate the absorber. The cannon's blast collides with its target and bright light envelops the area. From his distant fortress, Destructo watches his monitors, pleased and elated. Yes! Yes! It is done! All of Atlar is gone! Everything around it is gone! Revenge is mine! I spent so many years planning and finally... The day has come! Everything was executed perfectly! Success! Oh, how the beautiful floating debris... No! Impossible! No! How is it possible? What? 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 A ship? There's a shield surrounding the area! Impossible! Who dares to challenge the will of Destructo? No, this cannot be! The console is reporting an overload! Impossible! But the gamma particles and the Omega Drive were compatible! They were supposed to work! I need to fix this! Destructo to Cutlass! Destructo to Cutlass! Come in, you flighty fool! Hello? Where are you? Where is Falcon? Oh, she's not here right now. No idea where she went. My beautiful machine is on the verge of destruction! I need you to gather additional components for me! That does not sound very good. Silence! You will do what I ask! Those little gamma particles have always been very unpredictable, right, Doctor? What? No! You... you did something! Oh, you stupid knife! It's been a real treat working with you. Farewell. Back in the Deity System, Bonnie and Blue fly their ship back down to the planet and are greeted by the overwhelming cheering masses. It absorbed the blast! It might be short-lived. Dr. Destructo could fire off... You survived my powerful Omega Cannon and defeated me here today! But what does tomorrow bring? Tales of my genius will spread across the galaxy and my legacy will echo in eternity! Soon more threats and enemies will rise and destroy all of you! The fire I have lit will burn and live on forever! Oh, boy. I am Dr. Destructo, and this will not be the end! It will! Certainly be the end. The Omega Drive didn't work after all. Destroyed by his own creation. Guess it was too powerful. After all he's done, the lives he took, I'm glad it's over. We did it! Yes, we did. We can all rest easy. So what happens now? We take a moment and thank the gods we're all still here. I second that. It has been a very eventful couple of days. Indeed it has. Dr. Star, Blue Falcon, we owe a deep debt of gratitude to you for saving all of us. Your unusual methods have proved once again successful. I concur. Looks like the doctors were right to let you leave. Counselors! Um, hi. About that. I may have... She was more than prepared for this mission. She didn't... No need to explain. You went above and beyond, both of you. You are to be commended for your valor and bravery. As well as patrol officers Smith and Jones, Carrie and Simon. We couldn't have done it without their help. Of course. Now, if you can tell us more about how eventful these last few days were. I'm sure you have quite a story. 
We do, indeed. But we just need a few minutes, if that's okay. Very well. We'll see you later. Carrie, Simon, Officers Smith and Jones. I believe we have a bottle of Aquarian Ale we can open to celebrate. We'll be sure to save you two a glass. I'm holding you to that, Counselor. So, you kept taking it out when you thought I wasn't looking. What? Whatever your dad wanted you to have. What is it? A memory disk. It's very old. Hang on, I'll activate it. Who's the kid? Wait, is that you? And Red? He's so young. Oh, gods, I'm barely a sprout. It's Shimmer Beach on Nandar. Crystal clear water and glittering emerald sand. My parents and I went there on my fifth birthday. That was a great day. Wait, it's... Hello, Bonnie. Mother? I wish I could tell you in person, but this is how it has to be right now. I am very much alive. Your father only recently discovered this through his own investigation. Here I thought I did a very thorough job covering my tracks for the last 15 years, but I shouldn't have expected anything less from the great Captain Red Dog. He found me once before all that time ago and he managed to do it again. You don't know much about my past, but I can tell you it was the kind of life that forced you to make certain choices, including faking your own death to prevent certain people from finding you. I know you think it was your father's fault that day, but the truth is far more complicated, and I'm sorry. Please don't be angry with him. Everything that happened on Firegus wasn't an accident. That's all I can tell you. Now, as much as you want to try to find me, I'm sending your father with this message to explain everything, but to also tell you both to stay away. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to disappear again. If your father found me, others will follow and put all of us in danger. Please, I love you, Bonnie. My bright star. Wow. So many questions. Mother... Bonnie, are you okay? We need to find her. What? Look, I love an adventure as much as the next person, but as far as ominous messages go, that was super ominous. Like, let's listen or we'll all be dead ominous. I can't believe how rational I'm being here. How did that happen? Whoever is after her, we need to stop them or she'll just keep running. They'll catch up to her. If my father found her... Your dad knew this galaxy inside and out. There's no surprise there. Blue, I just found out my mother is alive. I need to find her. Bonnie. Please, help me. I was really looking forward to that glass of Aquarian ale. So that's a yes? That's a yes as long as you help me find Cutlass. Seems like a fair deal, partner. Roger that, partner. Let's go have some fun. And so, Blue Falcon and Dr. Bonnie Marston head out on a new mission as new partners and new friends. Flying high and into the vast space and beyond, new adventures and answers await. Tales from the Dragon Eye Galaxy was a Sterling Arts and Design presentation, written and directed by Christian Hay, starring, in order of appearance, Colin Carlton, Christopher Moreau, Tristan Sapersky, Matthew Fillion, Jennifer Bean, Kitty Drexel, Sean Fitzmaurice, Mary C. Ferreira, Susan Muller, and Christian Hay. Sound Engineering by Gauntlet Creative. All sound effects provided by freesound.org under the Creative Commons license. Theme music, Mars, the Bringer of War by Gustav Holst. Performed by the USAF Heritage America Band. Provided by museopen.com under the Creative Commons license. Additional music, Avant Jazz by Kevin McLeod. Provided by Incompentech under the Creative Commons license. Copyright. Sterling Arts and Design, 
2019. All rights reserved. Dragon Eye Galaxy. The Dragon Eye Galaxy, the eye of the dragon in the dragon 50,000 light years across in diameter. Shades of yellow, white. The deity system. Oh, the deity system. So much in the deity system. You have Atlar Prime. Atlar. Home. Blue Green. Beltar Prime. Beltar. Where all the woodworkers make their living. And all the loggers do all their logging. Kaltar, Kaltar, lightning storms. Kaltar, the source of energy, light. Kaltar, Nandar Prime, tropical, turquoise green, beautiful vacation. Ilsar Prime. Ilsar Prime is the desert. The desert with all the temples. The temples strong, strong, strong. Almaris, Almorong, Almorex, all the colonies, tiny moons, oh so tiny, three. Thank you for being a part of this.